Here we are at 11 a.m. We got five pumps running. We got four submersibles, about 4,000 gallon per hour, about you know 60 gallon per minute roughly, and then a pool pump. We've been moving up and down the whole time, chasing well, moving up, chasing the water. So hopefully now we can start pulling it down. We're about four inches from the breaker panel now. I'll be getting it. I'll see if I can get down here and show you without getting. We haven't got no electricity in water, but there's the basement. Right now, we've got a lot of stuff flowing in there. You know, the breaker panel, oops, the breaker panel is right about here in this block. So we're about three and a half inches from making it to the panel. Hopefully, we start to pull it down uh, with these extra pumps. It would be nice because we don't have much to go, and then we're going to be into this breaker panel. Out here, we've been hanging, fluctuating up and down. There's the corner of the house, which is where the floor is, where the brown, the siding meets there. So where the siding meets the brown the aluminum is the floor. We're hanging three, three and a half inches under it. That tank up there has been another reference. Every now and then it gets up to the bottom of the tank, which still gives us two inches. So we're hanging. According to the water data, she's crested. So now we're just hanging on and seeing if we can keep the basement neutralized. It will it'll be nice. We won't, we'll have power to the rest of the house, and Dad's house will be okay. So we're just hoping. Yeah, we got... We got stuff flowing. We'll have to get some hose extension here. I don't even know if we have any more. We're putting hoses together all over the place, but we're uh, yeah, we got five hoses pumping here. Just trying to keep the, the electri electricity on in the house and keep the uh, yeah, keep the house alive. Peace, peace. It's currently at 32.6 and it doesn't crest to 32.7, and that's happening at noon today. Oh, so we still got a potential rise of 1.2 inches. That's okay. We're okay with that. So there's that news. It's fluctuated. It was 32.57, a little 59 a little while ago. Earlier than that, it was 32.32.6. It was 32.67. Then it was 32.59. Now they're saying it's what do you say it is now again? 32.6. Six. So it's, that's what it's been at for a while now. So I think we're close to a crest right here. Myself, I don't think we got a problem with these floors. I think we're, we're we got a few inches to go. We've got yeah, we we've, we've got a bit to go here. It's a mess. You know, everybody along here is pumping out of the basements here. And uh, a lot of town, uh, my brother-in-law and his son and girlfriend, Candace and Jason, are up there all stranded. A lot of people are stranded in some higher places, developments up along the river here where uh, they can't get no roads that will get them out. So it's definitely a mess. We're still hoping our first floor where our grand Sherry's grandmother lives with us isn't, isn't under. We're still hoping that that's not under when we get back because our nephew lives in the trailer there in the alley that we... We rigged up for him, and he's definitely had 18 inches or two feet in. So we're going to have to re-tear up all that carpet and fix that. We're hoping not to have to tear up Grammy's carpet. And then my shop, who knows what's going on my shop, my boat, and a lot of tools and gear. So who knows what's on there. It's just stuff. I guess it's all just stuff. Again, this is what happens when you try to fight with nature. All natural creatures flow with nature. They're getting high ground. They're going away. They're not fighting the water. Us humans, like Chief Joe said, if we could, we would change the rivers and the mountains. And we have, you know, hydroelectric dams everywhere. We cut holes through mountains for railroad tracks and, and for roads. So we, uh, we try to fight the forces of nature instead of flowing with it. And that's the problem. That's our problem. We did.